In the next few minutes, we'll show you one of the plan's main components, underground reservoirs, utilizing a technology called Aquifer Storage and Recovery, or ASR. ASR will allow us to store large amounts of water underground for later use by wetlands, estuaries, people, animals, and farms. From the Everglades to Lake Okeechobee. ASR is not new. It's an idea that's been around for the past three decades in the United States. Twenty years ago, some areas of Florida began using the technology to manage the supply of municipal drinking water. ASR largely occurs underground. If you could peel back the earth and look beneath the state of Florida, you'd see aquifers, large geologic formations which hold vast quantities of water. Most aquifers near the earth's surface contain fresh water, which can be used for drinking or irrigation. Go deeper underground and you'll find aquifers with brackish or salty water. To drink this water, it would first need to go through a costly desalting treatment process. Aquifer storage and recovery will allow us to utilize these brackish aquifers to benefit our fresh water supplies. It works like this. Rainfall that normally would drain to the ocean or gulf is instead captured in a lake or reservoir, treated to drinking water standards, and then pumped through wells underground to a porous aquifer. The aquifer is confined above by rocks, which keep the fresh water close to the well. The fresh water pushes away the existing brackish water, forming an underground reservoir. When needed, the water is pumped back up from the aquifer, treated again, and then can be used to raise surface water levels, benefit estuaries, or supplement human or agricultural water needs. ASR should not be confused with another process called deep well injection. That process is for permanently disposing wastewater, which is injected very deep, about 3,000 feet into the boulder zone, located far below the upper Floridan aquifer. ASR water is stored in the upper Floridan aquifer, separated from the deeper boulder zone by one to 2,000 feet and numerous confining layers of dense limestone. The chance of mixing between the two rock formations is extremely slight, not only because of the natural geological features, but also because of the location of the wells. ASR has many advantages. Rainfall amounts in Florida vary from season to season and year to year. And underground storage allows us to capture water in wet times and retrieve it later in dry times, improving our ability to store and manage water. The wells can be located in areas where it's easiest to capture water, generally near a lake, river, or reservoir. In comparison, above ground reservoirs provide only short-term water storage require purchase of large areas of expensive land, lose much water to evaporation, and can dry up at times. The comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan calls for ASR wells to be built near Lake Okeechobee, along the Caloosahatchee River, and in southeast Florida. This is the first time aquifer storage and recovery has been attempted on a scale this large, in terms of both the number of wells proposed and the amount of water to be pumped underground. The exact number of wells and their locations will be determined later. The Corps of Engineers and Water Management District, in consultation with an array of other agencies, are conducting a regional study and constructing three pilot projects to address technical issues and concerns. The regional study will include scientific investigations and modeling to evaluate the performance of the proposed full-scale ASR program on the region's underground aquifer system, related natural ecosystem, and existing water uses. Pilot projects explore more localized issues, such as storage and recovery rates. These projects are planned for the Lake Okeechobee, Hillsborough Canal, and Caloosahatchee River areas. ASR offers great promise in aiding the greater Everglades ecosystem and enhancing South Florida's future freshwater supplies. If you would like to learn more about aquifer storage and recovery, please visit our website at www.evergladesplan.org.